Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanaman E456 here today, presenting to you all a new episode of Sonic Lost World for the PC. As in the last episode, we went through Desert Ruins with the classic Sonic character mod, and now we are going to continue on and use a new one. So, if you all are enjoying this series, as always, make sure to go and show your support down below and drop that like in a comment, as it seems like a ton of people really loved uh, the last episode of this game. You know, I've been so happy that, uh, you know, recently with my videos, people have just been like really enjoying like the commentary and everything and have been really interacting in the comments so by all means you know keep on doing that and uh let me know in the comments below for question of the day what are your thoughts on water stages in the sonic games and which one is your favorite as we are going to tropical coast which is actually a pretty interesting stage um i do have some uh, problems with it but uh we're gonna talk about that in just a second but as you all can see here we are playing with mighty the armadillo which is another really uh cool character mod for this game so i want to give a big thanks to frank smash for uh releasing this if you all would like to go check it out uh go to the link in the description below for his channel and you should be able to find the download there but anyway without any further ado let's go ahead and get into this Oh, okay, I was actually expecting a cutscene, but I guess we're just gonna dive right into this. But anyway, I got a ton of comments with you all asking, Hey, Kobe, can you stop doing the spin dash? I want to see the animations in Sonic's wiener nose. So I guess uh, you all just like all Frank hold the balls. I didn't know y'all roll like that, but this is how I roll. Oh, snap. <laughs> but no, I actually do understand what people mean by uh, wanting to see the animations and whatnot, because these are different characters. You know, they have different movement and whatnot. Well, Mighty doesn't really have different movement, but, you know, I can see where people are coming from when they say, you know, they want to see, like, the animations and just how characters look and everything, so, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, oblige you all, because, you know, I love you guys, these are mod showcases for you all to kind of see what these characters are all about, so, you know, might as well go ahead and do that, right? Oh, snap, that is way too high for me, okay, so, we need to actually just get that little water geyser up our booty, and get ourselves up here. So this stage, actually really, um, it's not that bad, like the first stage, but um, later on there are a lot of really, really stupid gimmicks and um, just other things. Oh wait, I can actually hop into this already, I think. Yep, I did not even realize that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've played this stage and actually just Lost World in general because the only stages I really played in Lost World were um, Wendy Hill, and then, uh, what's the other stage? Um, oh, the grinding stages. I really liked the grinding stages in this game. And, uh, Sky Road was pretty awesome, too. Uh, at least the first stage was, in my opinion. But I feel like they kind of recycle the same ideas over and over again. So that's why, um, you know, the stages kind of feel the same. They don't really feel all too special or anything like that. You know, with Super Mario Galaxy and everything, which I know people are going to be like, Wow, Kobe, you're actually comparing this game to Galaxy? I thought you just said you hate when people compare this game to Galaxy. No, I, it's like, it's not that or whatever. But, you know, with Galaxy, it was like, it have similar, like, level design, you know, with, like, the different galaxies and whatnot, but they would change up certain things. Like, you know, it still had that space look to it and, you know, still core style of uh, the areas that would just look like, you know, planets and whatnot, but it would all play different. But, like, with this game, it just all feels the same. It doesn't really feel like anything special, if that makes sense. So, I don't think that the Sonic series has really ripped off Mario, how a lot of people, you know, want to say with uh, this game, oh, this is, this is a uh, Super Sonic Galaxy and all that stuff. It's just like, hello? Like, do you, have you all not played Sonic Adventure 2? Come on, people. But, um, you know, I, I can see uh, why, though, people would compare this game to Galaxy in a way, because, you know, they do have similar space elements and all that stuff with the gravity, but it just Alas, does not do it as well. Keyboard. I knew him well. Arr, me voice chips all cattywampus. Thanks to Sonic, everything's gone cattywampus. My cacophonic cock was the only thing keeping those six maniacs in check. Some sort of a natural inhibitor to their powers. Very painful. And very rare. The Zeti have an innate ability to manipulate magnetic fields. They can make electronics, including my mechs, do interesting things. I control those powers with the conch until Sonic punted it away with his typical stupidity. Well, get lost, Eggman, and let us get things under control. I hope the Zeti eat you alive, you 
meddling hedgehog. Okay, if it pleases the court, all those who think Eggman is a total bonehead raise their hand. Well, here you go, folks. The motion is passed unanimously. I didn't raise my hand. Dang, this man didn't know that Orbot did. Oh, snap. <laughs> He's got himself some mutiny. It's gonna go ahead and uh, disable that man, kind of like how, um, what is it, what happened in uh, the Sonic Boom TV show? That one looking weird dude that was like disabling uh, Orbot or Cubot, something like that. I don't know if you all have watched that, but if you all have not watched the TV show, by all means, go check it out. It's actually really good. I have it myself as of recently, but you know. Yeah, you all should do it. <laughs> it would seem the peaceful days of tending my garden will have to wait. While I take care of these matters, the rest of you cannot. Please, Master Zick. This is not something you should trouble yourself with. It's beneath you. Now, don't be concerned. Get it! It'll be good to stretch these old bones. Oh, snap! My boy Master Shifu just made Zaz deep throat that subway foot long. That's crazy. It was like, eat fresh. And anyway, here we are going through this stage. We're about to drink fresh as we are getting ourselves a ton of fruits around here because this is just a really fruity stage. It's obviously one of the worst stages in this game because it's trying to rip off Super Mario Sunshine, definitely. Like, now, see, I, I, I hate when people are like, you know, oh, this game's like definitely ripping off uh, Super Mario Galaxy, but this stage definitely feels like a Sunshine stage. Like, you gotta have these fruits go to blenders and all that stuff, like the freaking watermelon. And uh, Super Mario Sunshine. And speaking of watermelon, we got ourselves one big, massive one right here. Yo, this really, this really jiggles my niggles. But you know, uh, what we're gonna do is try and guide this in right here. Come on, come on, just go through. God dang it! See here? Yeah. So it it just explodes after it touches something. T definitely not inspired of Super Mario Sunshine at all. But um, yeah. So we just need to guide this over here. And uh, once we get it into the blender there, we get ourselves that nice watermelon juice. Yo, give me that Kool-Aid! Yo, that's my favorite, dude. I remember when I used to drink Kool-Aid all the time as a kid, but like, now, it's been a while, actually, now that I think about it. Not that I have anything against it, it's just, it's been a while. But all right, so, we need to go to the next area here. All right, so, whoa, what the heck? Oh my god, that was close. Uh, for some reason, my jump would not like actually let me kind of change direction but all right so what we need to do is guide this over here i think or actually it's gonna bust the tree what the heck am i talking about um what we actually need to do is guide this not run into it jesus christ okay so we need to uh bring this over this way so that uh, we can make ourselves another apple juice smoothie yo Playing through this stage right now actually makes me want to go to Smoothie King right now. That's like one of my favorite places to go after I work out. Because you can get yourself that nice banana strawberry gladiator. And it's just like 50, 50 grams of protein. Yo, that's how you bulk up and get nice and big. I'm trying to be like that new Big Drake, dude. <laughs> Alright, so take, all, take out all of these guys here. Good thing we have the uh, rapid home attack to uh, help assist us through making this way easier. Uh... Let's see, where are the last few guys? Okay, they're right here. Yeah, once we clear these guys out, then... Oh, okay, one more group. All right, finish these guys off quick. Now we get ourselves a wonderful wisp. So, all right, let's see here. Where, where, where is, uh, where did it go? Hello? Like it was just, oh, there it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I'm actually recording this really, really early in the morning because I've got a flight really, really soon. So I'm trying to get, you know, just a couple of videos for you all before I actually do head out. So if uploads are kind of slow, I apologize about that. But all right, it's time to face off against Master Shifu. What's Gucci, dude? Yo, show me them skills. I, I, wanna, I wanna see, you know, how godlike you are because you're supposed to have you know, the ultimate power and everything, but this ain't this ain't looking too ultimate right now. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so we need to guide him over here basically. And then make him get off his high horse there. Watch him just shoot off into the sky. Yo. 
All right, where you at, bruh? Where you at, bruh? Where you at, bruh? Hello? There he is. All right, wait for the um, charged up homing attack to show up. Get him just a couple more times. What the heck? Hello? Why didn't that work? Oh, because the ball, like, actually... What the heck? I've actually never had that happen, but all right, there we go. I guess when he's shooting his um, projectiles, you actually can't attack him. But there we go. That's it for zone two. We are done here. And now we're going to go on to uh, the next stage. Now, there's actually a bonus stage at uh, the end of this um, actual world, which should be interesting. Are we getting a cutscene? No. Okay. Uh, I was like, do I, do I need to shut my yapper? Oh, my God, yes! Yo! It's like my favorite stage in this game. Oh my god, yo. Bro, I'm about to have like all kinds of Oreos. Okay, so this is Tropical Coast Act 3. I tested the blue one, and he's more powerful than I anticipated. He shows much potential. Who cares about him? Now that I'm free, I wanna squeeze Eggman till he pops. And eat him, I suppose. Well, yeah. There are better ways to make him suffer. <laughs> but more delicious? What would you say if I told you we could destroy Eggman's world and use its energy to make ourselves unbelievably powerful? Well, I would say that I had taught you well. Yes, you have. Eggman's own creation that causes his destruction. <laughs> Yo, they're trying to do that Sonic Generation story, suck out all the green and everything, you know? It's not gonna be lit anymore, it's not gonna be all about that young money. But alright, so here we are in Tropical Coast Zone 3. And this is just the most serene stage I can think of in the Sonic series. I'm gonna actually be quiet so y'all can listen to this music for a sec. Is that just not the most beautiful soundtrack ever? Like seriously, I get Knights vibes from it just because of how peaceful and soothing it is. And this stage is a lot of fun too. I really love grinding in uh, Lost World. I think uh, they did a really good job with it, you know. Kind of let us be able to manually jump on- HELLO! HUH?! Okay, you didn't see that. So yeah, I totally did not just die to the uh, grinding mechanics that I was just complimenting, but anyway, um, yeah, I really do love how grinding works in this game because even though it's different from Unleashed and Generations, I feel like they still executed it very well. You know, sure, Generations and Unleashed, uh, you know, grinding wasn't broken at all by any means, you know, it actually worked really well, it was very effective, but you know, if they're gonna change it, at least they actually did it pretty well. And um, that's what I like about Lost World. I don't know, it just, it makes you feel more involved with the game because you have to do a lot more to actually um, get the same results that you would get in other Sonic games if you're trying to speed run those or whatever. Like, it takes a lot more skill. Like, with, you know, with the spin dash, like, you know, you can make it infinite and it actually could technically be more powerful than the boost because it never runs out, but at the same time, it's like you have to be able to do it just right you know, you can't bump into anything, because if you do, you're going to lose all your momentum. And um, you just got to really take advantage of, like, the spin dash jump and everything. And okay, yo, I just ran right into them explosive. Oh my god! Yo! Yo, 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 what is going on? Yo, for such a serene stage, I'm actually making a lot of mistakes around here. But that's okay. But look at how beautiful this stage is. Like, do you all, do you all see how gorgeous this is? Especially just the water in the background. So I feel like we're in like a really big like aquarium or something like that. And you know, there are all these fishes around here. And 
it, it, it definitely gives Aquarium Park vibes, which is actually like my fa second favorite, uh, my second favorite, uh, oh my god, what the, god dang it. What I should have done was slow down there. <laughs> I should have slowed down there and then um, just gotten it, but I was I was being too hasty. I was like, yo, let's just go ahead and go balls deep into this and get this red red ring, but why the heck am I even getting the red rings? Wait a sec! Yo, I'm actually just plain stupid. <laughs> anyway, though, um, yeah, Aquarium Park is actually my second favorite water world in the Sonic series, and I'm really excited to see that, um, it's gonna be ported over to uh, Generations. I'm looking forward to that so much. It's gonna be awesome, and uh, we'd love to see more water stages like that or like this. You know, not like freaking Tropical Coast where it's just mostly a beach, and then the only time you can go into 3D underwater is when you're using the horrifically bad Drill Wisp. But yeah, <laughs> there we go. Though that is it for Zone Three. Dang, that that was just like the best part of this world, and it's gone. Alright, so now that I got 800 of these little, uh, animals, now we can go ahead and go on to Tropical Coast Act 4. Huh? Your time huh. is almost over, Rash Hedgehog. I shall prepare for you a lesson in respect. A painful lesson. Oh, someone's gonna get taken to school, alright. Follow, if you dare. Yo, I get really strong Kung Fu Panda vibes from that guy. Like, seriously, my skadoosh senses are tingling right now. But anyway, here we are in uh, Zone 4 of this stage. Definitely one of the more annoying ones because of the wisps. Though, actually, it's not that bad anymore because we don't even have to use the gyroscope controls since uh, we're playing with PC controllers. So this actually may not be as bad, but I do remember the 2D section later on being really, really stupid. Like, if they could just remove the 2D sections and the gimmicks in Lost World, it actually would have been a really, really amazing game, at least in my opinion. Though, you know, some of the 3D sections definitely could have taken advantage of uh, Sonic's movement a bit better, but you know, I still, I still think it would have been even better if they did remove all those gimmicks that were just like, they weren't even fun. Like, you know, there people complain about gimmicks in the Sonic series, and it's like, they're not even bad. They're just nothing special. They're not Sonic, so people complain about it because it's something entirely different from the original core Sonic gameplay we get. But they're not really that bad. But this game, the gimmicks are bad, whether it be the gyroscope controls on the 3DS version, or you have to do all kinds of really stupid tasks, which just does not make sense because it's like, you're playing a handheld. Shouldn't you want to be able to play that on the go or whatever? Why the heck do I? Why the heck do I need to be turning around, rotating like I'm in a um, computer chair or something like that? It's so stupid. And yo, look at this! All these racks. Yo, Mighty should have gotten the plastic bag. Go ahead and pick up all that cash. You danced all night, girl. You deserve it. Okay, so what we're gonna actually do is shoot ourselves through this line of rings, get through the next cannon, and come over here. But yeah, um, oh god, okay, whoa, that kind of threw me off a little bit jarring there. I'm so glad that I don't really have to even worry about collecting the red rings or all that stuff, because that actually does make the game a lot more annoying too, so like, if you just play the game regularly, just for fun, you know, play the 3D stages and all that stuff, avoid the 2D, you'll have yourself a good time. It's just, <clears throat> when you have to collect the red rings and all that stuff, that's when things actually get really, really annoying. But now, I'm just gonna kind of chill here, not really try and go too fast, because I'm having a lot of problems where Spin Dash will, like, mess me up in some of these 2D sections, because it actually requires you to be so precise with some things. Like, right here? Look at this. So actually, what I'm gonna do is... Alright. Oh my god! 
Oh god. Okay, that actually was a massive butt pucker. Jesus. Okay. So I'm just gonna kinda go through this regularly now. Alright, freaking Octorok, go ahead and show your ugly self. Okay, pop that off. Thanks, dude. <laughs> dude, popped off that protection just for me. Oh god. Gotta be careful here. But see, this actually looks really cool. Like, you know, the water's up on the ceiling and all that stuff. And then we got ourselves little Bowser platforms there. Like, it just looks really, really cool with some of the actual layouts of uh, these stages with the, uh, you know, different gravity and whatnot. Okay, just go ahead and get that. Oh my god, I didn't even see that dude there. What the heck? Yo, I'm like blind. Okay. Here we go. This. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, 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 wait! Yo, that dude swallowed me like a nut, too. What the heck? <laughs> um, yeah, there was, like, a huge, massive slowdown there, so it just, like, threw me off. Oh, my God, yo, this dude's, this dude's making that wave ocean. Oh, my God, yo, hurry up, dude. Oh, okay. I, I thought I thought the spring was going to pop up, so I'm just like, wait, what's going on? Why is it not popping up under my feet? All right, now we're going to have the fish upside down. Yo, look at this. Thankfully, that spin dash is when the skadoosh right through. Oh my god! I am. I'm not gonna lie though. I actually do hate how um, some of uh, like some enemies just can't be attacked with the homing attack. And if you actually um, spin dash or homing attack into them, you'll get hurt. And it's just like sometimes you don't even expect it. Sometimes you don't see it coming. So it's a little bit annoying with that. Oh snap! He's like, bring it on, dude. Okay, man. All right. Go ahead and just keep on hitting them with that charged up homing attack. See, it's like, it's so easy to kill everyone with that, but like later on, oh my god. The charged up homing attack actually isn't even going to be enough. <laughs> it's going to it's gonna be so difficult. Alright, this is the next area. Yo, where are you, Master, Master Zeke? Where the heck is this man? Oh, there he is. Yo, he is like, oh my god, he's got the freaking um, presidential protection there, yo. Oh my god, he's on that Obama live. All right, so now that's done. Where the, where the heck is he? There it is. Wonder where you are. Little, little orange sperm. All right, so now go ahead and shoot ourselves into the next cannon. Nice, nice, nice. All right, this should be it. There we go. Seriously, what the heck is wrong with this man? How is this dude the master of all of them? See, I wish they would have made him like the fifth or sixth boss or whatever and just made him like way more difficult because that's definitely a huge letdown. But anyway, there we go. That is it for Tropical Coast Zone 4. We have a mutual problem. One so large that it will take both of us to overcome Whatever. I told you, we can handle the Zeddy by ourselves. That may be true. But the rebellious swine have gotten hold of a device of mine, and they're using it in ways for which it was never designed. Uh, what was it designed for, Doctor? It was supposed to extract energy from our world, but the machine is unstable. Once it reaches full power, it can't be shut off. It will drain our world dry. So that's what Amy was talking about. And you just want to go smash it, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> what? It's what I do. Oh, always your answer to everything, Hedgehog. If you wish to create a cataclysmic explosion that will incinerate everything within a hundred miles, please smash away. So there's no off switch? No, not anymore. I need to get to the machine and reprogram the shutdown sequence. I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nice. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Man up, Tails. I don't like working with my most hated enemies any more than you do. But our entire world is at stake. Yeah, well, teaming up with you feels like the end of the world, Eggman. I don't want to take a long shower by the time we're done. Wait, how how is that how is that even a good one? Yo. I'm telling you, this this dialogue, it, it, it does get really, really cringy. It's not even there yet to, with how cringy it gets. But, oh. 
I thought we had another stage. Wait, did they remove it? <gasps> oh my god! Yo, they removed the skydiving stage. No, they didn't. They couldn't have. It was, it was supposed to be like right here, right there. But there's actually no skydiving stage. That was like one of the gimmicky uh, stages that they had for this game, but they removed it, I guess. Okay. Well, if anyone else has found it, you know, by all means, let me know. And I guess I'll kind of keep a lookout for it. But um, anyway, yeah, so that wraps up for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Kind of got to see the uh, Mighty the Armadillo animations and all that stuff. Um, you know, I did like spin dash a lot at some points, but then at other points I did actually just run regularly and whatnot. And uh, yeah, in the next episode we'll be trying out a new mod. And then um, also for Mod Mondays tomorrow, I'm going to just do a little one-off video trying out the DLC with another character mod that I think will be very fitting. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kobanamites, and take care.